Okay, back at the Camp Wound Dog Workshop. What we're doing here, we're using the uh, Eastwood dent puller. Try to pull a dent out of this font. In a previous video, I talked about how the plastic nubs that come with it really don't do any good because what they suggest doing is using hot glue to stick it to whatever you're pulling the dent out of. Uh, Coleman and GPA fonts are a lot thicker than car sheet metal so the hot glue is useless. So what I'm doing here, I'm going to actually solder a stud. This is a stud that I made. It's a 5 16th carriage bolt with a nut brazed on it and trimmed so it'll fit in the dent puller. I'm going to solder this right to the font um, and try to pull that dent out. Once the dent is pulled, I do my solder. Hang on. All right. Anyway, once the dent is pulled, you heat it up, melt this off, and see where you're at. So this is this is an experiment. I've never tried this technique before, so we'll see what happens. And once again, if you're soldering or using any open flame around a font, there may be leftover fumes from the white gas in there, which will blow out and scare the hell out of you. So what I always do is I fill it up with water and dump it a couple times just to get the vapor and any residual gas out. The trick is, I guess, to keep the stud centered in the deep part of the, the dent. I prefer using Oatly H2O tinning flux. Um, it's water soluble, so it's an easy cleanup. It doesn't have all that greasy crap left over like most petroleum based uh, fluxes do. Now, I'm not so stupid I'm going to pick this up right away and burn myself, so I'm going to let this cool. See, here's the flux, and just with water, it just comes off. Nice product. I, I like Oatly stuff. It's really good. All right, here we go. Um, the stud fits in this carrier. Then you tighten it. All right. Now here we go. I hope this works. Holy snapping, Martha! Look at that. Dang! I like that a lot. All right. Let's see where we're at. Now, if I had some steel wool, I'd knock the excess flux off. Oh, here, here. I'm going to knock the excess uh, solder off and see where we're at on that dent pull. This is coming out pretty decent. Um, now, as you can see, I've still got a little bit of that dent left. Now, well, what Eastwood does is they give you these pull tabs with different size faces on them. So you can start with a big dent, and as your dent gets smaller, you redo it with a smaller tab. So I guess what I'm going to do now, this is a 5 16th. It's out stinking. It's still hot. Ah! <laughs> All right. I'm going to make another one of these out of a quarter twenty with a smaller pull area to pull the rest of this little dent out. Um, 
This is my crash test dummy font. I use this in the shop to test everything out before I do it on a customer's font. The whole point of doing this is I got this 242 for Josh um, that has a little dent in it. And before I replate this for him, I want to see if I can massage this dent out. So I'm going to finish with a smaller stud on this, see how good I can get that dent out. If I'm happy with the results, I'm going to pull Josh's dent before we uh, uh, strip and plate it. All right, that's it, Camp Wound Dog Workshop. You guys and gals have a good uh, rest of the week. All right, bye-bye.